A Georgia police department is mourning the loss of one of their officers who died suddenly in the line of duty, but not in the way that you would think. We're going to get into all the details of it here in just a second, guys. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. This was on January 28th. We had Officer Clarence C.J. Williams. He was assisting a sheriff's deputy with what was just a regular routine traffic stop. Upon pulling the vehicle over, the, spus the suspect fled from the car and both officers began to chase him. About midway through the chase, however, Officer Clarence Williams had suddenly collapsed uh, out of nowhere there on the chase. Attempts were made to try and revive him. However, they were unsuccessful and he was later pronounced dead. Now again, 23 years old. Officer Williams is somebody who joined the Cairo Police Department back in 2020 and quickly became very respected amongst his peers there. He was, you know, making his way up in the ranks, uh, was described as somebody that would, you know, always make you smile, had a very you know, bright future as far as policing goes. And then something like this happens. Uh, they have not released the cause of death as of yet, as an investigation is still underway. However, I will note this, that previously on, and, and you know, take this information and do with it what you will, think of it what you will, but previously on the Cairo Police Department's Facebook page, they had advertised, this was a while back, they had advertised uh, the mayor of Cairo along with a health expert to come down to the department to speak to the officers on the benefits of taking the pinchy. Now again, do with that what you will. I'm not saying that was the cause here for this officer's collapse and unfortunate passing. We just take a look at patterns here and we see what's going on. And look, you know, whether it's police officers, first responders, athletes, they are continuing to drop just like flies. And, it, and it's sad. And I've said this before, and I'm going to maintain this because I believe that it's important. You know, as Christians, as followers of Jesus Christ, you know, it, for whatever one of these ones is linked to the pinchy, let me just say this. It doesn't mean these are bad people. I often so many times see, you know, conservatives, Christians, you know, completely beat up on the people, kick dirt on them. You have to understand that a lot of these people, again, they were lied to, they were deceived, okay? A lot of them just wanted to keep their jobs. They maybe didn't want to have anything to do with this thing. But they did it because of that. Now, it doesn't mean that they're bad people. And a lot of them have survived. A lot of them have health issues now, yes, and many of them are now speaking out against it. But I, I really believe this. We should not kick dirt on them, make fun of them, rub it in their face, because that's what they do to people like us who are against the pinchy and don't want anything to do with it. So show them grace. You know, pray for them. Pray for Officer Williams' entire family here. Again, young officer, you know that God would be with them, bring them peace, bring them comfort. You know, we can use this as an awakening. Others will wake up to what's going on. And and not just to that, just to, you know, what's going on with the pinchy. And again, I'll say this again. I, I don't know if that is the cause here for Officer Williams' death. I don't know. But if it is, then pray that there can be an awakening for many others out there. But here's another awakening that we can pray for, is that people will turn to Jesus Christ. What do I mean by that? Where did that come from? Well, I'll tell you why. I want to end this video on hope. It's something that I do on all my videos. It's part of my ministry outreach. You know, I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines here, and I keep you guys up to speed on everything that's going on. I do that because we are trying to win souls for Christ here in these last days. There's a lot of evil going around in this world right now, ladies and gentlemen. You have to make sure that you are walking with the Lord. And you want to make sure also that whenever you leave this world, however you do, that you were in the arms of Christ when it happens. So if you're somebody watching this video right now and you have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to invite you the opportunity to do that right now. This is a prayer that you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do, this is right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. 
That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and he rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then just jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, the things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Prayers again going out to Officer Williams' entire family, Cairo PD, that God will be with you all and bring you peace and comfort at this time. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.